Next topic, NBA playoffs. Let's start off with this. The Rockets absolutely choked at home. They had game six on a silver platter. They held Steph Curry to only two points in the first half. He explodes in the second half, 33 points total. Klay Thompson has 27. Uh, basically, the Warriors came out and showed that even without Kevin Durant, they are still the best team in the NBA, and and they definitely showed it. Uh, the Raptors beat the 76ers at the buzzer. Kawhi, absolutely fantastic. Uh I don't know if y'all can hear that. We are having construction done right next to my office. Uh, but the Raptors, uh, getting Kawhi, getting Gasol, it all worked out. They made it to the Eastern Conference Finals. That's fantastic. Uh, next up, the Blazers go to Denver. They win in Game 7. C.J. McCollum goes off for 37 points. Uh, the t- let's talk about the two best players for each team that's left in the Western Conference and the Eastern Conference Finals. Uh, you got the Bucks against the Raptors and the Warriors against the Blazers. The Blazers, Giannis, international player. Chris Middleton, played at Texas A&M. The Raptors, Kawhi, San Diego State. Chris Lowry played at Villanova. The Warriors, Steph Curry at Davidson. Uh, Thompson from Washington State. The Blazers have got Dame Lillard from Weber State and C.J. McCollum from Lehigh. Uh, That is, if you want to look and see how good teams are built, it is not based on the. It's not based on the high draft pick guys, right? Like th- those are great for entertaining basketball, but to build a good winning franchise, you stick with guys. You draft in the middle of the first round, whatever. Yes, obviously it's better to have more talent, but this is how these teams are built. It's a lot of fun to watch these kinds of teams advance in the playoffs.